Hey, Gravelin, with the lovely and gracious Yesenia here. Hi, everybody. We're, we're doing an early happy hour because that's just the way the schedule worked out today. Uh, thank you all for coming by. I appreciate it. I got a couple of fun clips. First, we're going to check in with uh, Judge Simpson. I want I wanted to make sure there wasn't any uh, blowback from, from his hot mic, uh, even though I really enjoyed it. There didn't seem to be, but I, I just have the first appearance. It's pretty cool. It was freaking hilarious. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, it, but his first case after that, it, it's short, but I mean, it's a doozy. Like, like the next time he he calls a case, <laughs> you'll see what he's dealing with. We we do a little detour over to the 36th District Court, and then, of course, I've got a fun soft sit that I poached from uh, Old Squishy Gardener. So uh, so let's let's get it started. Also, also you said you send is in YouTube training here. We'll we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it, I'm better this time it, around. Yeah, you're, <laughs> You were great last time, but she's. I'm. I'm having her drive the car from the start here. I, I don't. I don't know how this is gonna fly. <laughs> Should be fun. All right. Oh, hi, Nighty Knee. I love that, by the way. Law nerds assemble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's really cool. Okay, All right, you gotta remember. You got. You got. You gotta start those as we go too. Oh. We, we'll probably do super chats after the video, the, the the clips, and then and then if you have questions, we can do we can do a little ask me anything afterwards. I don't know if if, if anyone's interested. All right. So let's right. get it. Let's let's <laughs> let's get this thing started. All right. Go to the clip. Make 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 the clip big there. Okay. Let's see what we do. <laughs> State of Michigan is now in session. All those having business before the court draw near, the Honorable J. Cedric Simpson presiding. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, we need our waiver. It is with great pleasure, Miss Kirby. We are going to do the waiver today, I understand. Good morning, Your Honor. Caitlin Kirby, on behalf of the people, the people would waive any potential conflict between this court and the public defender's office. Although the people do not believe that there is any conflict, the people make this waiver in avoidance of any doubt. Thank you. Mr. Brown. Your Honor, good morning. <laughs> Lauren Brown, Deputy Chief Public Defender. We likewise would waive any potential conflicts. We do not believe. Okay, right there. He's always cool with this uh, uh, attorney, Lauren Brown. And I think that that is an oblique reference to the hot mic from yesterday. Tell me what you guys think in the chat. That's what I think. That's why I think he's laughing. Uh, Adam, because they're old friends, and and he knows <laughs> he knows what what happened, and he's just kind of kind of laughing at himself. All right. Such conflicts exist in this court. Hearing these matters, if any were to arise, we would waive those. The court for its part does not believe that any conflict exists either in the Michigan court rules or the cases decided there under. To the extent one does, given the waivers, the court will consent to hear the matters. Court does call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus Moses Armstrong. Okay, top center. Jessica Blanche Perry on behalf of people. Go ahead, Judge. Torsho Feaster, Assistant Public Defender, on behalf of Mr. Armstrong. Mr. The, Armstrong. the dynamic duo together again. Okay, yes, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Mr. Armstrong, please unmute and state your name for the record. Okay, so here's the deal with Mr. Armstrong. Uh, Mr. Armstrong is causing some issues out there. It is a suspicion of court security and he's just lost the lighting in the room. He may be out okay. that he um, is highly intoxicated. I'm not giving him a PBT at this point. Okay. Um, I am trying to, I'm going to handle it this way. I'm going to adjourn this out one week. Okay. Then have him removed from our building. Okay. If that will give you, Okay, so later on in this, we have a soft set who's unrepresented. It, it, I beat this like a hammer constantly. It's going to make uh, you send you want to pull her hair out when we get there. It really is. <laughs> but here's just a, a here's probably the best reason to have an attorney. This guy shows up to court drunk, and and the judge extends a great favor to him by adjourning the case and saying, "Why don't you come back in a week?" And why does he do that? Out of professional courtesy for his attorney who has practiced before him and he likes. If this guy's not represented, he's going to jail right now. No two ways about it. All right, let's get scary on. 
you an opportunity, I think, Mr. Feaster, to explain to your client proper protocol when coming to the court. Thank you, Judge. I will work on that. Really appreciate it. That is the last nice thing I'm going to do today. So, <laughs> probable cause conference will be adjourned. What is my adjourn? To June 23rd, 2022. 9 a.m. Bond will continue. Thank you. Um, if you could send a message to court security to have him um, removed from the room forcibly if necessary. He needs to leave our building. Thank you. Yay. Great morning. All right. Okay. I am Judge Lanice Bryant. Welcome to the 36th District Court. Oh, yeah. You are I at the 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. Where are we, Judge? Court. You are at. Okay, so I this this was just, uh, this is very brief. Um, I, I'm, we're in 36th District Court. Of course, we're not in front of Lanice Bryant. We're in front of the Chief Judge of the 36th District Court, and he's a no-nonsense guy. Uh, it, 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 they aren't that amazing, but I just, you know, I like any excuse to visit the 36th District Court because, you know, then I get to use my Lindy's Bryant clip. But the, these are, it's it's not outrageous, but the, the names of the, these are two of the first three defendants. And, and uh, the names both have issues. Let, let's just carry on. 36th District Court, you have law... Hey, Cal. Good morning. Mayor Gregory Allen, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Take off your hood. All right, pause. All right, Sir Gregory Allen, you guys got to tell me, you got to tell me in the chat or in the comments, is that really his name? Is he, is he just being obnoxious or does his, did his mother get, give him the first name, sir? It could go either way. <laughs> But I, I'm looking at that, thinking that's 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 pretty out there. I don't know if right. I don't know if he did it or mom did it. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My money's on he did it. <laughs> and by the way, when you when you he's he's charged with concealed carry, and um, yeah, here's another little thing: if if you don't want to look like a hood, don't wear a hood to court. All right, let's carry on. Hey, call Sir Gregory Allen, please. <laughs> Calling case number 2158812, People versus Sir Gregory Kirk Allen Jr. Defendant is charged with one count, carrying a concealed weapon. Defendant is scheduled today for a probable cause conference. We are already on Sean Love and Tanya Boyd. Okay. This this uh th this guy's name is Sean Love, which is not that strange uh, um in and of itself, but that's not his name. And and this little bit, I don't know why. You'll you'll see. I'll just see it play out. This isn't. I just I found this interesting that this was two of the first three defendants. The right. judge is like, what? <laughs> what is going on? But this whole concept reminds me. I can't even think of the movie. You know the guy who who got the fake ID under the name McLovin from Hawaii. Oh, uh, super bad. Yes. <laughs> it's super bad. It's a super bad scenario in the 36D. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Said Lloyd and Boyd. Love and Boyd. Call Love, please. His attorney is Calling case number 2158786, People versus Sean Love, aka Sean Pippins. Defendant is charged with one count, carrying a concealed weapon. Defendant is scheduled today for a probable cause conference. Tell Major on behalf of the people, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Nicole Jones, appearing on behalf of uh, Mr. Love. Judge, Mr. The, 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 my client's name is Sean Pippins, and he indicated that he told the officers that, and they still put his name down as Love. So I'm asking the court to make that correct. Why? People tell okay. me in the chat. Okay? Um, can you put that in the chat so we can uh, put them in the file? Sir, state your name for the record. I'm Sean Pippins. Oscar says hit like and subscribe. Well, and hit the bell notification. Thanks, Oscar. I that. Recalling number six on the docket: People versus go. Bobby Cunningham, twenty-two one four seven FH. 
Boom. Lou Danner for the people. Uh, yes, uh, Council Cunningham here. Um, Your Honor, it's my understanding that Mr. Cunningham is representing himself uh, and that this is the start of a new proceeding. Uh, the people just ask that the defendant be advised of his rights to uh, representation. Uh, I mean, All right. So, you know, you know, there's trouble right away. I, I actually did one on this. I also poached that from Old Squishy Gardener. This is the, the, the and, and he believe it or not he's he was he's better in this hearing than he was in that one that one was worse that was the continuance of this of this hearing um this guy is out there but you know you're in trouble when he when he puts uh counsel cun again uh he's not an attorney he's representing himself but of course he goes full sauce and tries and tries to uh uh talk down to the judge here it's oh it's maddening but it's funny on my rights representation right now, I'm waiting for the subpoena to come back. Um, so I'm asking the court for a uh, adjournment until the 31st or a little bit after the 31st of May, considering um, the subpoena uh, has not came back and uh, nobody has not contacted me since I put the subpoena in. Um, if y'all need a reference of basically when the subpoena was uh, sent out, that would be a uh, uh, I can send that to you. And then also, uh, as far as the original witness, it's not on the witness list. Um, the accuser, quote unquote. <laughs> and then also, uh, Your Honor, uh, I was supposed to ask for a motion for uh, the ho the case in whole with the videotapes and the transcripts, which still has not been sent out to me. So I'm also waiting for that as well. Your Honor. Okay, so th this guy, you, you can see where he's going. I've had him on before. He he's you know he's deliciously awful, um, but this this I'm enjoying because Yesenia, by the way, she she does all my stuff and she's like fantastic with like English and like uh, punctuation and and yeah. all this stuff. She proofreads everything. Uh, you, you guys know what it's like because she hasn't been proofreading my YouTube stuff, so you know I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I, you can imagine the task she's got before her, okay? But this guy, there are two things. His grammar is atrocious, and I know that's going to make you nuts. Yeah. And then he he is he, he insists on representing himself, and that's <laughs> those are two things that are just going to make you lose your mind. No bueno, yeah. All right, let's go. Mr. Cunnigan, it's generally considered to be a very bad idea to represent yourself. I want to advise you that if you do choose to represent yourself, that you're held to the same standards as an attorney. And as you know, attorneys go to school for years uh, to learn how to do what they do. Yeah, we do. I won't be able to help you uh, to, uh, to practice law, ma'am. You don't need, you don't need to follow the rules. To practice law, you don't need to be a part of the bar association. Uh, I already looked that up. Unless he can, unless Miss Lou Dang, Mr. Lou Dang can show me a uh, license, up. and I'm not talking about a bar license as well. Uh, I would dearly appreciate that as well. But uh, yes, I I, I rather I rather represent myself. Okay. okay. If you want to show me a okay, license, you, license, you can go on you... that. Uh, uh, actually, I'm talking about the practice law, ma'am. I'm talking about the practice law. There's, there's, you don't have to have a license to practice law. I mean. This is not the first time oh, I've been that, in front sir. of you. I know that, sir. You said that you wanted to see oh. a copy of Mr. Danner's oh, oh, Okay, license. well, you 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 just kind of. I mean, I'm not I'm not taking it as a threat or anything, but you, you just stated it because he went to he he went to law school or right. whatever. That basically, I still don't know my rights, man. Yes. So one of my Mr. rights Cunningham. in my action is basically <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm required by law to advise you that it's a bad idea for you to represent yourself. I'm not doing it to, to so is that threaten a, is, you or intimidate you or scare ma you or anything else. I'm doing it because I'm required to. Well, ma'am, I'm going to ask this question. Okay. Uh, you, you see the tenor of this, and I, I really enjoy this call. And I, again, a uh, shout out to Old Squishy Gardener for finding this because I, I didn't even know about this call. It's in Washtenaw County. Th this guy gets kicked off U of M campus where I actually, had to, where I actually went to school undergrad. Uh, it's it's pretty funny, but uh, I also absolutely uh, love this prosecutor Lou Danner, who's 
I, I've had him on three or four videos. He's so professional and so nice. And then this judge, same thing. Like right. it, like he's like the worst sort of pro se offset, but he's dealing with the wrong people. I mean, they are yeah. like top notch. Like n- nobody's buying anything. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Is that is is that advisement privately or uh, commercially, ma'am? Is that advisement privately or commercially, ma'am? <laughs> I, is, I is that advisement privately or commercially? Are you advising me commercially or privately? You just stated it, <laughs> advising. I'm advising you, you advise on the me record. basically get a current attorney. I'm advising you record, on the right? record. So would that be what, privately? Would that be commercially, ma'am? It's neither. It's on the record. Right. How is how, how is it neither on the record when basically it's a um you're not my attorney, so how can you advise me to do anything? There are lots of things. I'm just. I'm, it's a question, you. ma'am. It's, it's a question, ma'am. I'm just asking. How can you advise me to do anything unless you, unless you're a representative, unless you some type of representative have some type of contract with the Cunningham uh, party? Let me know, ma'am. And that's other than that, you're an arbitrator. But Mr. Sorry. Cunningham, every time that you appear in front of me when you're representing yourself, I'm going to give you the same advice, which is that you would be better served by having an attorney. I have to Such do that. Such as the last three requi- judges, ma'am. Excuse I- me, sir. Go sir. Ahead, give me a minute to talk. Every time you appear in front of me representing yourself, I'm going to advise you again that it's a bad idea. I'm going to advise you again that you'll be held to the same standard as an attorney. And I'm required to do that. If it becomes a problem for you that I advise you that you'd be better served by having an attorney, then we're not going to get along very well, sir. I'm doing what I am required to do by law, which is to advise you on the record that you would be better served by having an attorney. And okay. and I'm telling you right now, I'm going to do it every time that you appear. Well, to get along, first of all, to get along and being basically Correct court proceedings and facts it would be two different things, man. So to get along, I, I is didn't ask you anything. It, it, it sounded like a threat. Excuse me. I did man. not ask you, you say, any I, I just, I just listened to what you had to say, man. You're cutting me off. I just went Mr. through this Cunningham? with, uh, with Miss Perry, man. Okay. Uh, I mean, this this goes without saying, but yeah, I mean, you can attest to this. I, I would be in cuffs. Yeah. If, if I tried this, she's been in court. She's, I've, I've had to read as a doctor, like in trial. Anyway, so she's, she's been in court with me. Mm-hmm see me dealing with judges uh if if i acted this way I, i'd be run right. out immediately i mean that this is only this is only because he's he's so pathetic that that they allow this to go on but uh, oh it's it's too good she's too uh i don't know <laughs> she's she's handling it well but she's getting there like oh, oh she's yeah. getting there <laughs> she's getting there i'm hitting my i head. i I could name some judges and I won't. And uh, Cindy knows what I'm talking about, that uh, even this guy would be rung up right now. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Yeah. laughs> All right, that's good. I was only stating my claim, man. I thought it was my turn to talk. If it's not my turn to talk, just let me know. I thought it was my turn to talk. It's not your turn to talk. If it's not, just let me know. But I thought it was my turn to talk. You just interrupted me. What do you want to say to me, sir? <laughs> Jesus. I just, I just said what I was saying. I was trying to get a, a, a adjournment until May 31st to basically and so basically, I get the information back from the subpoenas, and I'm actually basically Lou Dang, uh, the the attorney, to actually have the original witness, uh, Calvin Klein, on 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 his um uh, on his witness list, man. That's all I'm asking. Other than that, I'm not asking anything else. Your Honor, um, yes. Two things. First, if Mr. Cunningham would like an adjournment of this matter, I have no objection to Mr. Cunningham uh, receiving an adjournment of this matter whatsoever. Uh, Secondly, uh, the people are under no obligation whatsoever unless this matter is set for trial to produce any witness unless there is an evidentiary hearing in which there's a motion that is filed for an evidentiary hearing requesting the admission of an individual party who will be considered a rest rest just eye witness to this matter. As there has been no articulation as such and as Magistrate Garwood is not a party to the case and also since uh, Officer Kavanaugh, I believe in this case, would only be the officer who swore out 
the information, or in this case, or I'm the sorry. complaint let, in let this case. That, uh, Mr. Everyone, Cunningham, would you mind one witness, second, sir? sir? Uh, would you mind one second? Thank you, sir. Um, so, Your Honor, if Mr. Cunningham wants a trial to be able to exercise the court's uh, authority of subpoena, then he can request a trial date and then try to have that occur. Or he can file the proper motion, as I am in receipt of a motion that is not the proper motion to be filed, nor is the relief that he is seeking such relief that this court would have the authority to grant. So it is my understanding that even if he wanted the adjournment or whatever subpoenas to go out or anything of that nature, that would be a non-starter as that is not what would occur as uh, none of this was properly done. According okay, so here we go. And this is why I like this guy so much. First of all, this whole speech is basically aimed at him. The judge knows all this already. The judge knows it, but she may not be specific because she's got 100 cases on her call. So we might be raising something to her attention, but she's not confused as a matter of law. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, hey, big dummy, if you don't have a trial date, you can't subpoena anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's actually being really super nice. He could just like not mention it and just and just and just not respond to anything. Right. Show right, up right. at court and say, I'm sorry, you don't have any evidence. I'm going to hammer you. Senseless. That those are the options before him. He is literally putting on the record that for him, and he's doing it because it'll, it'll move things along, um, and and it's very appropriate. But uh, th this guy is all offended by it, and, yeah. And he, he, you know, because he doesn't know any law, yeah, you know. But it, it it was just kind of fun to just kind of fun to watch. So all right, let's carry on. According to the court rules or case law, so but if he does want a trial or if he wants. He can request a trial and then uh, he would be able to subpoena witnesses to be there to testify at a trial um, as the court would fully advise him of that right. Um, beyond that, Your Honor, I am not in receipt of any intelligible motion in which uh, he has stated any <laughs> kind of claim not. in which this court could grant any relief. Uh, okay, we'll but, adjourn to May 31. Excuse me, ma'am. I, I, I wasn't done talking, ma'am. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at First, the document uh, A1 basically sent to the Cunningham party. Uh, what was it? Uh, October, October 26, uh, 2020. Basically, you look at A1 evidence, uh, excuse me, evidence. Uh, the states on there, uh, Calvin, Ryan Kavanaugh. He's not an officer. It just says a uh, original witness. Now, the original witness, basically, what we haven't had an emotion for is basically um, for. Uh, the head of excuse me head of the the head of the case um i can't think of his name uh matthews <laughs> they basically quote unquote they tried to amend in to him to be the original witness when basically the original witness was actually ryan kavanaugh who basically is not a complaining officer is not a um officer he was a regular civilian uh, 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 uh on, on the road that basically they try to put in after the fact that basically I was not supposed to be on U of M territory and then they searched my property and then from there they tried to add in uh Mr. Cap uh, uh, excuse me um Mr. Matthews as the original witness when basically he cannot be the original witness if he's in charge of the case. Uh yeah the the that the, the, there's nobody in the, the, there's no distinction of it. I mean, it's it's as dumb as you think it is, by the way, if, if you're not an attorney and you're watching this, yeah. there's 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 no head of the case distinction, whatever. He's just, you know, making stuff up and it's complete word salad. And, you know, I, I don't know criminal. Right. She she knows this. I'm, I'm never. Although, what, what, what do I get? I get I get traffic stuff. Yeah. The traffic court. I get, occasionally yeah. I get a, I get a traffic court. So, but that's collateral to a, to our case. Like, right. it's not even like the main thing I do. But yes, I walk in there. Yes, I was a prosecutor, so I have some idea. I'm not particularly familiar with um, Michigan cri uh, criminals procedure, but um, I'll tell you who is Lou Danner. <laughs> L L Lou Danner uh, was laying it out, and and I am confident. I'm confident that everything he said make made sense. As much as I'm confident that everything this guy says doesn't make sense. Right. <laughs> all right that's kind of like a contradiction and then at the same point in time he did not sign <laughs> kind of like uh, a up under a uh, penalty of perjury as well <laughs> so i mean i'm confused here man uh, 
Yeah. At this point in time, but I will take the adjournment to May thirty, a little bit after May thirty first, to find out if I can get the rest of my uh my subpoena to uh go further and more than that. So if we can uh go to to subpoena thirty first, uh from there, I must excuse me, the, my motion for a subpoena from there, uh, I, I would I would uh gladly enlighten you about this case. All right, were you asking for May thirty first or another date? Uh, I was actually just a little bit after May 31st will be much appealing over on my side, ma'am. June 7, is that all right? Yes, ma'am. That'd definitely be okay. Right, what time June would that June be, ma'am? 1.30. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Make, make, make us big here. Oh. Oh, all right. That was you did a great job. Thanks. Dr driving that. That's 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 your second stream like this, but mm -hmm. it was the first time you had to deal with the video. Right. And I was trying to yeah, pay attention and then over here. There yeah. we go. You see what's going on here. I I'm going to I'm going to uh slowly just pass all this uh off on on to you sending it. I'm going to be a pro. Like I, <laughs> like everything else in my life. <laughs> <laughs> all right so all right so here's what we do now thank you all we're we're, we're doing all this stuff so go over there to say star and then i want you to read the super chats okay <clears throat> uh and if you guys have questions or whatever you can well we'll get there but let, we want to go through the super chats and uh and deal with that okay I want to do this one again because I really love that. Oh. The lawn. I think we need a shirt that says that. <laughs> Lawners Lawners assemble. Assemble. That's, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I, I got to get you in on the merch thing too. She, she's the one who made me do the, the like pink tank tops and all this stuff They're for, so for girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which have been a big hit. Scottish law nerd in the. Who's? <laughs> I'm like, uh. I love it. I gotta get over to Scotland. I, I I really do. It's you know I just have a uh, I, I just have a, a like a, a completely absurd view of Scotland from a, a combination of Sir Walter Scott and Downton Abbey, but I, I don't care. I, I I need to go over there. I bet it. Would it just be, looks yeah. pretty. Yeah. The end. For sure. So Mark, I'm I'm coming to your house. <laughs> okay. Night of me. <laughs> Moses drank from the red wine sea. <laughs> Sir is a royal pain in the butt. <laughs> I agree. Okay, let's see. Where is this one? His royal hining. <laughs> Trade wins 1964. He pimps love. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, let's see. Sarah Cartland. Why is he wearing a hat? Isn't it disrespectful? Uh, it yeah. sure is. I like that. It's like a, a, a pound seven, uh, one point seven nine pounds. I just, I just like that specificity. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a State Farm offer. Right, like right, right. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Night of me, Mike is fantastic, and only one that can wear a hat. Yeah, I, I need to, I need to get fezes down here. The, the, the fez is at my condo. I was gonna say. Yeah. People yeah. have asked for it. <laughs> Okay, the Bio Explorer had a student whose mom named him Thread. Sh oh, well, pronounced yeah. Shahed. <laughs> Shahed. But try she calling thread, that yeah. out when right. you call the role no, over no, thing. No, no, no. Let's, 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 let, let's get out of here before we get in trouble. Thank oh. you, Bio Explorer. <laughs> <clears throat> Dave Dalafior, he's never passed a bar, especially during happy hour. <laughs> do you think you could pass the Cheers. bar during oh, happy hour <laughs> i'm like i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> that would be hard i think you said he's I never mean... never seen me drink before so it's okay so okay. shh <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, tell me you're an idiot without telling me you are <laughs> that's a good one uh, trade wins 1964. Mike has been ratted out. No license needed to have cute puppies and cool friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trade wins 1964. My cousin scratches on the records and he ain't no attorney. <laughs> <laughs> 
Suzy Q42. In other words, I have to tell you, it's not a good idea to hang yourself, but if you have the rope, it can't stop. Yep. Yep. Lucy Bolton, old squishy gardener, posted a video this morning if a rude, of a rude lawyer. I'd love to get your take on it. He was so disrespectful and condescending with the judge. I was shocked. Really? Yeah, that up. How long is it? Oh, I should I sh I should make uh, I should make uh, Yesenia hunt that down. We we can do that in another tab, and then share the screen and then turn it on. It, you know that 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 just be a nightmare. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cats lives matter became a YouTube. Member. Oh, thank you. Cats li Cats lives matter. Yesenia's got a cat. I do. Arlo, he's a big a hole. He is. <laughs> but I love him. He's my a hole. Jeff Finmeter, how you doing? Thank you, Jeff. Miss Mandy777, bottom left corner asleep. <laughs> I'm assuming it was one of the yeah. people on the Oh, thing. yeah. Okay. And then how do I All right. go back to the live? Yeah, go back to the live. Okay. All right. Oh, now go in there. And see. I have yeah. to find the ones I didn't star, right? No. Are there ones you didn't star? Are there more? Well, because we were doing the starred ones right <laughs> the, like this one it's the blind leading the blind i honestly you should you know what once once you figure something out i stop thinking about it and then i and then i just deal with what i deal with <laughs> but that. but this is the only this is like the only to like task like this mm -hmm. that i know about more about than you oh yeah loads i'm like i mean uh, like if I, if I have to file a motion in grundy county i'm like i i got nothing you send you figure that out <laughs> <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you what the substance of the motion is, but I, the rest, make, make it happen. Okay. And then this one, Alan Ferris, thank Artie for finding another good one. Thank you, Artie, but I, I don't know what specifically you're referring to. <laughs> okay. It's just Judy. We need to follow up on the fuzz less kind of again. <laughs> he was a trip. Yeah. He he, was, he, yeah. Yeah. That's the, and that, that, that was so i think old squishy gardener found that video but he did the first video and i already did one on like in the stream on, on this guy and mm -hmm. he was just not making sense he was incoherent i think it was the it was the follow-up to this one that we did today oh okay this one today he made more sense than that one i'm like oh this guy's bad that's rough to watch <laughs> yeah yeah it's rough okay begin to my wife made a back the blue these aren't my pants Shirt. I wear it probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kyle Good. I have a from Kyle Caper to Cedric Simpson shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I forget all the Kyle, Kyle Caper was uh was an old video I did it. That was in um that was in Middleton's room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you know what it's it, it's rough, or, you know there's always there's always more stuff, but it looks like Middleton's room isn't as fun because they, they have it in the court now, and it was more fun to zoom. You could see everybody, mm -hmm. and you know you know like Deborah Davis who's on it, or like that that was more fun. Now like you get this distant shot, and the sound isn't as good, and yeah, you know there, there's still like, good times over the there, but it's <laughs> it, it's it's not the golden age it used to be like uh, six months ago. Right, right, right. And and it looks like Cedric Simpson on that hot mic yesterday. They were they were talking about returning to court. Right, right, right. That was hilarious, though. Yeah. The you saying and I were talking about this. We're on the other side. So like, okay, so that's the judge saying, "Oh, these attorneys uh, need, need to get their stuff together to get here." Uh, believe me, we've we've got we've got our version of that for all the judges. <laughs> yeah. And, and I love Judge Simpson, but uh you know i'm in courtrooms all over the place mm -hmm. and they're always i mean they're always making this stuff up and we're, and we're thinking you know the judge judge the world doesn't revolve around your courtroom I, right. I i'm in 50 courtrooms and every one of you has a different procedure oh yeah it's rough so you know nonetheless i i did like i i did like his suggestion that he was going to fumigate the courtroom right that was hilarious <laughs> i loved it too <laughs> Like, hold it up in here. Okay, let's see. Dave Delafiore. He's as funny as the Sloan Kettering waiting room. Oh. All right. Okay, hold on. Mark, <laughs> welcome in Scotland anytime. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take you up on that offer. <laughs> let's see. Oh. 
Jonathan Kaplan. Greetings from a huge fan in New Jersey, learning and enjoying so much. Thank you so Hi, much, Jonathan. Jonathan. Just making sure it is. We do. We, we I, I just did super Karen who got pulled over in New Jersey. <laughs> okay, that's the. Last All right, story. that's it. Yeah. All right. If are, are there any questions or anything? If there are any questions, now's the now's the moment. We've covered our stuff, but behave yourselves. Right. Remember PG thirteen. <laughs> 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 is there a petition no. we love mike oh. I think you're great at it. you make no. me laugh there no, are a I'm lot not. of people no i'm no not. no okay let's see let's see <laughs> the plot hole the plot hole's good times it's nice he's in the house oh which one? Oh. everybody oh well well thank you let me see Alex Wolf, undecided middle ground. So, are you saying that he was a master rhetorician? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the double negatives and the just the wrong word. I, I mean everything. Yeah, before you even get to substance, it's just just plain English. It was, it was bad. And then he kept calling the, the attorney Lou Dang, and his his name is Danner. I, I don't. But Lou Dang sounds familiar. He's like a famous person. I'm like, what 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 are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. He. And he wants to see his license. Yeah, I'm sure Lou Danner's licensed. I, I've seen enough. I, I've been licensed for 25 years, and I don't need to see a damn license. That guy, that guy is practicing law. Yeah, and a pro at it too. <laughs> the judge also knows what she's doing. That that was that was the fun part is it, when he went off on this stuff. Everybody else on the Zoom was just like, whatever. They're like catching up on paperwork. Well, like, even <laughs> him, uh, he like said his part, and then he's like, da, 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 you know, doing something, and. And then he clearly didn't get it when he was talking about the subpoenas again. Like Lou was probably like, oh, "Yeah, you didn't listen to me at all. <laughs> you can't." He was not getting it. Cars. Good morning. Good team. morning. Hi. Good morning. From New oh, Zealand. Yeah. All right. Good morning. But what day is it? Is it the eighteenth? I, I I just it's so, the, the the time is so far off. I I can't tell. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> well, it's it's after it's afternoon here. And God bless you. I, I I always love to see that. New Zealand in the house. We're about to get to that question. I mean, John, Mike, what is your opinion of JD's lawyers eating candy and joking around and having soft toys in their pockets during proceedings? Fantastic. There's It was very respectful. I mean, that's you're in a trial for six weeks. Uh, you know, sneaking a piece of candy in court is not is not a big issue. Right? If the judge wants to tamp that down, they can. But I don't see that as disrespectful. That's just that's a long that uh, yeah. Court, you know, you got to know what it's like when or eh, name cases. But like you know, she's been there. It's like you you get you're just shackled to a courtroom for like eight nine hours mm -hmm. a day, and then when when a trial's going on, and then you just get out of there, and all you do is work on the next witness, right. the next motion. It, it, it's you just don't sleep. It's it it's brutal. Yeah, it's no brutal. Break. Trial yeah. is brutal. So I think most judges would say, okay, in a six week trial, you, you, you know, you you gotta you gotta relax a little bit. On a two day trial, maybe not. On a two day trial, they want you to to stay up tight the whole time. It depends on the judge. Dave does not consent. <laughs> okay cars it's saturday morning 6 30. saturday morning 6 30. well it's friday afternoon here yeah you guys are so ahead of us <laughs> uh, another place i need to go new zealand i mean i'm gonna need to I, I need to get put down for that flight to new zealand yeah that's where they did the lord of the rings it's other side of the world yo it looks so beautiful i i uh, i'd like yeah it looks so beautiful. Yeah. I I would just love to go there. I just don't I don't know how, I'm, how I would make that flight. You know what I might do? I might do a world tour, and then what I'll do is I'll break it up. So like I'll go to like Europe, and then I'll go to Dubai, and then I'll you know what I mean? Yeah, so so like you just fun. make it you 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 make it the eight to twelve hour flights max for the day, then then spend a, spend a few days, and then just get around the world. That would be nice. Yeah, sounds good. Martin Downs. Hi from Ireland. Great show as usual. Keep it up. Your 
recommend for Old Squishy Gardener was brilliant. Oh, Grace thank you. Too. Stay safe. You oh. too. Thanks. Oh, Old Squishy Gardener. I just, I just, and if you guys know, Old Squishy Gardener was sending me stuff before he even had a channel. And then I said, dude, start a channel. And he, he's done a great job. But uh, he's he's the one like like during the week he'll say all right I think you need to use this one he like he like sends them to me and recommends his own videos yeah it's a good which one. Is, which is and he's right yeah he's right it's good stuff it's just Judy serious question can a juror get up and stretch during a long court day yes my backside would have fallen asleep and fallen off yes I mean within reason yes first of all you get breaks and everything but like if you if you literally like just sort of stood up like at your chair and just get a stretch, no one would no one would freak out if, if you weren't being obnoxious about it. Lulu, so nice. No having this about Amber. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I was I, I was earlier. I almost went on with Nate and on Civil Law, but they were doing one. Um, but it, but I was going to be late, and so I, I didn't. But uh, yeah, that that case. I thought it was done. I thought it was done, but then Amber has to go run her mouth in interviews, and I, I'm sorry. God, she's, yeah. I, I I I feel compelled to laugh at some of that too. Um, I got uh, I, I I got you sucked into that too, though. Where, did you watch some Legal Bites or? Yeah, I watched it on Legal Bites. Um, I started though with her direct. Um, that's what made me get. Do Carlos Robles, why advise someone they have a right to represent themselves, then turn around and advise them they have an attorney? Well, you have lots of rights that you shouldn't exercise. I mean, that's that's entirely consistent. You have you have a right to represent yourself, but you you are seriously hurting your prospects of a good result. But if you do so, I mean, that's that's what she advised him. It's just. It's and thank too you. complex, you know. <laughs> it's too complicated. Yeah. I mean, like, let me, but, you know, I've been doing this 25 years. She's worked, worked with me for a long time. How how often am I, like, looking up a case? Or, yeah. we, we were, like, getting into a Supreme Court case on Arisa Leans. Right. That you and I had a big discussion about, you know, last week. Yeah. I, I mean, this is on the daily, and I know what I'm doing. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, it's just, it's complicated. The stuff is, is hard. Yeah. A lot of figuring stuff out. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We're, I think that's, yeah. we're all set. All right. Well, thank you all for coming out. That was fun. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and land this stream. Say goodbye and, and, uh, and hit the end at the top there. All right. Toodles, everybody. Thank Have a good you. Weekend.